here are the results of what happened last night on Monday Night Raw. Regarding of, of Ric Flair's 70th birthday. It all began when Roman Reigns returned to WWE after when he was suffering the leukemia illness since October 22nd of last year. But now he's finally back. He's back in his yard yet again. So welcome back, Roman Reigns. Also, what happened last night on Raw, Aleister Black and Ricochet teamed up to take on the team of the Raw Tag Team Champions, The Revival. But now they're going to be teaming up again on SmackDown Live tonight against the team of Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura. Of course, both of them are still unhappy when R-Truth beat both of them a month ago after the Royal Rumble. You know, when R-Truth failed to enter the Royal Rumble, all thanks to Nia Jax. And during the two-on-three handicap match between Ronda Rousey and Natalia and the Riot Squad, well, guess what happened next? Becky Lynch have to come to the WWE yet again. And she crossed the line. Somebody just don't understand what 60-day suspension is. And because Becky Lynch violated her suspension, she was arrested for trespassing. Let's see that again from last night. Yeah, seriously, guys. I mean, <laughs> Becky Lynch just have to trespass the WWE again after when she was placed in a 60-day suspension two weeks ago. Take a look. Yeah, it was during the two-on-three handicap match between Ronda Rousey and uh, Natalia against the R Riot Squad. And during the two-on-three handicap match, well, guess what happened next? Yeah, Becky Lynch came to the WWE again and violated her suspension. And here's what happened next. Yep, look at that. It was absolute anarchy. Because since Becky Lynch violated her 60-day suspension, she was arrested for trespassing. And not only that she trespassed, well, she also appeared at the Elimination Chamber and get revenge on Charlotte Flair after when she re-injured her knee at the on the WWE Love event in Louisiana. So Charlotte Flair will have to say something about that tonight on SmackDown Live. But then Stephanie McMahon came and just said to Ronda Rousey that Becky Lynch is arrested. And she cannot compete at WrestleMania if she keeps violating her suspension. But Ronda Rousey demands that she reinstate Becky Lynch. So she can take on her for the Raw Women's Champion at WrestleMania. But the match stands. It's Ronda Rousey against Charlotte Flair. But after when Stephanie McMahon refused to reinstate Becky Lynch. Well, guess what happened next? Ronda Rousey have to leave the Raw Women's Champion in the middle of the ring. And she left the building. Because until Stephanie McMahon reinstate Becky Lynch... Well, Ronda Rousey might not return until the match is set. But the match between Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair stands. So now Charlotte Flair will have say, will have something to say about that tonight on SmackDown Live. Oh yeah, and Kurt Angle appeared in a match against Jinder Mahal and he was victorious. And... Leo Rush just rudely interrupted Finn Balor on the Moment of Bliss show. Right when Finn Balor was about to show Alexa Bliss his abs. Just until Leo Rush just rudely interrupted. So Finn Balor retained his Intercontinental Champion against Leo Rush. And 
Braun Strowman attack both Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush. Yeah, because again, Braun Strowman is seeking redemption on Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin. I mean, last week on Raw, Baron Corbin and Braun Strowman competed in a tables match. And Braun Strowman was victorious. A little bit of payback from Elimination Chamber and that no disqualification match where Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley put Braun Strowman through two tables. And of course, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins came after that no disqualification match between Drew McIntyre and Dean Ambrose. And they came to help out Dean Ambrose to take down Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin. And of course, Bailey victorious against Nia Jackson. We just found out that last night on Raw that Bailey and Sasha Banks will defend their women's tag team champions against Nia Jax and Tamina. And I got a feeling that Nia Jax and Tamina will be the next women's tag team champions going into Fastlane. And finally, Batista have to attack Ric Flair on his birthday. Oh, man. Not on that night. Why did Batista really have to attack Ric Flair on his birthday? Well, not a good night for Ric Flair. And not a good birthday for him either because the animal Batista made a surprise attack on Ric Flair. On his birthday. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. So that's what happened last night on Monday Night Raw. But now we're going to see what SmackDown Live has in store for tonight. I mean, Kofi Kingston and new Daniel Bryan will have their contract signing going into their WWE Championship match at Fastlane. And some other matches coming up, too. So that's the news for y'all that everybody knows. As always, keep it real, my peeps, and stay in school.